Here is a paradox in photography that I never wish to forget. Back in the day, there was a practice in photo school where the instructor would call all the students who use zoom lenses and they would ask them a question. What focal length would you prefer? Some would say 35mm, some would say 50mm and then he would take a nice strong tape and tape up the zoom ring in that preferred focal length. He just handicapped their lens. Why did he do that? Isn't that a big inconvenience? What did the photo school instructor know that the students didn't? Isn't convenience a good thing? Do you want convenience in your creative pursuits? I know I do. After all, as a professional photographer who does client work for a living, convenience is very important for me. Having access to better things and more things makes me more creative, no? And before we assume the inherent goodness of convenience for photographers, here are four key reasons why intentional inconvenience can actually help the photographer upskill themselves and improve their craft. This is with respect to the zoom lens situation that I was talking about, but you can apply this in other areas of photography and other forms of art as well. So here we go. Number one, it forces the photographer to move around and shoot. With a zoom lens, the photographer is standing in one place and zooming in and zooming out. The scope for the beginner photographer to learn perspective and distance is very limited with the zoom lens. With a fixed focal length, he or she has to move closer, move back and therefore is forced to also learn about the dynamics of perspective and size of subjects which are in front and which are behind. So all these things comes into play. So the scope for improving composition drastically goes up when the photographer is using a fixed focal length. Secondly, it makes the photographer more intentional and thoughtful about each shot. There have been many situations in my own work where I stand in one place, I take a wide shot, then I take a mid shot, then I take a close shot. Right? It's like trying to can as much as possible without trying to experiment. But with a fixed focal length, that is not the case. Thirdly, it helps you master one focal length and this is especially critical if you are talking about something like 35mm or 50mm. Eventually you reach a stage where you know exactly what the field of view is even before you put up the camera or the viewfinder in front of you. So you know the field of view and the focal length like the back of your hand. And this leads us to point number four. It helps us to prepare and be ready. Preparation and being ready to take pictures of anything and everything at any moment of time, whatever is in front of you, that I feel is the most important thing that a photographer can learn. So when we master the focal length, we are ready to shoot anything and everything that's in front of us at any point of time. I remember I was in a position like this where I had to uh, photograph a funeral that I didn't know I had to photograph. It was like a big surprise for me. And uh, if you want to know my experiences about being prepared as a photographer and my experience in that situation, I'm going to link up that video above. So what are some tips to purposely inconvenience yourself as a photographer? Number one, you could tape up your zoom lens as they did back in the day. Number two, give yourself a quota that you will shoot only 10 or 20 images per outing. Imagine not being able to shoot with a digital camera because you have finished your quota of 10 images per outing. The more you restrict yourself in such cases, the higher you think about being creative with the quota that you have. And then again, you could shoot only JPEG so that post-processing is not a crutch for you. You will try to get it right in camera itself. Another thing you could do in terms of adding restrictions would be shooting only in natural light or available light and if that is something that you are comfortable with you could give yourself a challenge to shoot only with flash or only with studio lights so coming back to the photo school incident that i was talking about and this is what the instructors knew that the students didn't that limitations often breed more creativity with modern technology we have so much at our convenience but what we forget is that there is always a temptation to 
elevate convenience over craftsmanship and that's a peril that we always have to be aware of. In conclusion, once we recognize the pitfalls of excessive comfort and convenience, we can challenge ourselves to push the boundaries a little bit more and tell ourselves and remind ourselves that intentional inconvenience is actually one of the best ways to improve our craft. I hope this helped you. See you next time.